I called Mr. Sudbury and I said, hey, could we have the letters? We'll eventually probably put them in the Rock and Roll Highway Museum or, or have them displayed somewhere where people can see. And I'm afraid the longer they're there, they might get vandalized, somebody might take them. He said, sure, go get them. I'm glad for you to have them. I'd like for them to be preserved. So I threw a ladder in the back of my pickup and I thought this is going to be a day long project and uh, I might have to call help but I got out there and got up on the ladder and got the first one and the back of them was just this little uh, kind of cup that was just glued to the brick and the glue was old enough that I could just slide a putty knife in there and it, the, it popped off and there was four places so I just took each letter and pop 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 four places popped off and they came off so it took me maybe an hour and a half to get all eight letters off. I didn't take long at all and we brought them back uh, and just wanted to preserve them for the future. That was a, a place that had a lot of history. I know these were not the original ones, but it seems like these were probably put up in the late 60s, early 70s. When I got them off, I was kind of surprised when I went up that they were plastic. Uh, I think everybody thought they were metal, but they're plastic and pretty good uh, shape. We've got one or two that's got some cracks or damage on it, but we're getting that fixed and uh, we'll have them here for people to be able to look at. I think there'll be a permanent fixture that people can look at and, and have displayed. Mr. Sudbury said that he was going to be cleaning out the station in the near future and I told him if there's anything in there that he thought would be uh, beneficial uh, to preserve historically, we'd love to have it. And He said if he found something, he'd let us have it. So there, there's a chance that they, they'll find something that would be good.